Hi, I'm Ben Brownlee from Curious Turtle, and we are going to be looking at BCC Stage Light in DaVinci Resolve. BCC Stage Light is an effect that allows us to generate 3D volumetric lighting with control over light levels, a 3D camera system, and the ability to use other attributes such as smoke particles to create either a realistic stage light effect or something a little bit more stylized. Now we can apply BCC Stage Light either as a filter onto a different clip or as a generator to use directly in the edit room. And let's see how it works. So I've got our generator on the timeline and we do have a number of different presets that we can work with. And one of the easiest ways to look at the presets is using the effects browser. And this allows us just to have a quick look and see what some of these effects are doing. And this gives us a nice idea about what we can do with this effect. But if you want to start from scratch, we can do that as well. So let's take a look at some of our properties. I'm gonna to come to light first, because this is what we're really interested in. So we can control our master light density, and we have three built-in source lights. And if I open up light source one, I can decide what type of light this is going to be. Is it gonna be a spotlight, as we have here? So a light with a cone and a direction, or is it gonna be a point light? And the point light is a light source that emits light in 360 degrees, something like a bare light bulb, for example. We can change the render mode to see how strong or weak that light actually is. And of course, we can change the color up on it as well. When we're working with point lights, we can make this either a natural light or a consistent radius. So this can be quite useful if we have this back at white, for example, this can be quite useful to create a hard spot effect. Spotlights have two points. It has a position, so where the physical light would be, and it also has a position of interest. So this is where the spotlight is going to be pointing at. And we can see that wherever we move the spotlight, it's always gonna be pointing at that position of interest. One of the other important things that we have to look for is our target and the target controls the length of our cone. So if we have our target set all the way up to a thousand, it's gonna be throwing enough light so that it reaches our target far away. On the other hand, if we have our target set very, very close, it's giving us a much shorter beam coming out of our spotlight. So one way to use this is if we have our stage light text here, set my point of interest to be on the text, move my light up here, open up the spotlight one, set my target so that it hits the text, change the intensity up on that a little bit. So we can also come up and add in some smoke. Let's change the density on that smoke a little bit. And we play that back, you can see that we can get a nice realistic smoky stage feel just using this single point. If I move the light back around a little bit, you see the, the effect that that's having as it travels through the smoke. And as I said right at the start, we do have a built-in camera so that we can do orbits and pans really quickly around our lights. And of course, we're only working with one light at the moment, but I can come in, turn my second and my third lights on. And then once we have our three lights set up here, we can still move around all three lights in a nice realistic way and we'll just see how those combine together. If you wanted to animate these up, of course we can come in to the color effects and have this applied to a node instead of to a generator, and then all of this is easily keyframed up. We can also use the built-in beat reactor to choose a file, then choose different frequencies within that file to easily drive the value of these lights. And in this example, I've set up multiple lights, each reacting to a slightly different frequency in the song. So you can see as the bass hits on this one, that's controlling the red. As the treble hits, that's controlling the green. And as the mids go up, that's controlling the blue. Of course, we can also use the stage light on a real shot as well. So we can easily use this just to composite in some headlights into this particular shot. We've just created two light sources, applied them over here, and then masked out this area on the left so that we get a slightly more realistic look. And that's a very quick look at the BCC stage light in DaVinci Resolve. Thanks for watching and be sure to click on the link in the description to download a free trial of Continuum for OFX and check it out for yourself. Also, 
Follow Boris FX on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with the latest information and training materials on Continuum, Sapphire, Mocha Pro and all the Boris FX products.